Hey guys, welcome back to Click. This is Im, and today we're doing uh, an old but gold uh, HTC 10. And I don't mean by gold in the color; I mean a great phone. Uh, I used to have an HTC 10 back in the day, kind of around the time when we started this channel up, and we never got around to doing any unboxing or review of it. Uh, and I always liked it, and I I got rid of it, and I regretted doing so. So I saw them on sale, and I figured, you know what? Let me pick one up and uh, actually use it. I also know that I got nougat. So figured we could go over that and talk about it. Uh, I also picked up a case from HTC, which is pretty nifty. Uh, and you'll see a separate video for that uh, probably shortly after this one. All right, so let's get into the box. Now, just a word of warning, guys. I've been using this. It's been unpackaged. I just put it back in the box just to show you what we have inside. Okay, so HTC 10. I picked this up from the actual HTC website here in Canada. Okay, they had it on sale. And I figured, why not? It was worth the shot, all right? So we've got the carbon gray color here. We've got the IMEI stuff. It's 32 gig, all right? And on the top here, you can see it's the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. We've got a 5.2 Quad HD LCD IPS display. Four gigs of RAM. And we've got a micro SD card expansion here, okay? Which is up to two terabytes. We've got 12 megapixel camera with a 1.8 aperture. We've got a 5 megapixel camera with a 1.8 aperture for the front. Both of these is the only phone that has optical image stabilization, both front and the back. Okay, we've got boom sound audio, high res audio as well. We've got all the Wi Fi, we've got the Bluetooth, 4G LTE, NFC, fingerprint, Qualcomm 3.0 charging capabilities. So, pretty well stacked, guys. I mean, it's a great phone, lots of stuff, great in hand feel, good size, a good medium between the phablet and the small phone. So, it's a great day-to-day -day user for me as well. Okay, let's get into it. Okay. Now, I hope you guys don't mind my new setup. I've kind of created an office for myself in my absence. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If there's any issues with lighting or sound, let me know. And I'll be happy to make those changes for you. Now, you can see on the top here, the phone is just sitting outside of its packaging. It was sitting in this bag, which I took out. Okay, so let's get the, we'll set the phone out for a few minutes and we'll come back to it and go over the phone after. Okay, here we go. So the HTC 10. So in here we've got the SIM ejector tool. If you open this up, you've got the IMI stuff for repair service. You've got a whole bunch of HTC 10 books and shit which nobody reads, but they still insist on providing that information to you anyway whatever so uh, nothing else back here it's empty okay and if you lift off this cover here we have the USB-C charging cable okay this is USB-C guys and a USB-C fast charge brick okay uh, now I'm gonna try and pull back here and see if I can read what it says but however I am uh, not as good at reading small fine print so I can't really see it I believe it's a uh, 3.0 compatible but if I'm wrong guys just correct me on that in the comments below okay so typical accessories I kind of wish we did get some headphones included I mean the prices of phones these days is getting out of control and you know small accessories even though may not always be used by everyone they do are they are appreciated right so in this case we don't have that so put that back in the box and let's get into this HTC. All right, slide that out of the way. So here we go. All right, let me just clean the dust off, guys. OCD, you know, it's rough for me. Okay, so here we go. We've got the HTC 10 in black carbon. And there it is on the back, guys. Looks amazing. Looks wicked. I love the black, the flat black color. We've got your camera here. You've got your laser autofocus and your dual LED flash, HTC branding. And you've got a bottle number listed down here, okay? Antenna lines, antenna lines. There's a mic hidden in the antenna line. If you guys want to see that, you can. There it is. Now the chamfer here is semi-polished, okay? It looks really nice. Uh, the version I had before was silver, uh, glacier, glacial silver. It looked nice. It was good in terms of day-to-day -day use. You didn't get the scuffs and nicks that you do here. Now you can see here, I'm pretty sure the camera's picking that up. You see that little dot? Yeah. That's a nick. That's a nick, guys. All of like two days. And it was in a case. 
So I don't know what the fuck really happened, but it popped itself up. So uh, if you're looking for durability with this color, I don't know how long it's going to stay looking like this. Um, but um, I did case it. I have cases for this phone and it's been in a case since I used it. So I don't know at what point I did that. But um, anyway, it's done. So on top here, headphone jack. And this is for your uh, high res audio because this has got a wicked... Uh, DAC, I believe is a 24-bit DAC or 16-bit DAC. Uh, you have to confirm that. Okay, this is all for uh, your antennas, Bluetooth, and whatnot. You've got uh, you've got your power button here, which is textured, which feels great. Okay, we've got uh, volume up and down. We've also got uh, this one, I believe, is your SIM. And if you flip it over, you've got your micro SD. Okay, now on the bottom, you've got your um, mic, charging port, and speaker. This has a dual speaker setup, so you've got a speaker down here as well as a speaker in the earpiece, and this is a similar setup to the iPhone, uh, but this did come out first, so these guys kind of pioneered that setup. So I guess iPhone kind of copied that, which is fine. It's a great setup, sounds good. iPhone seems a bit louder than this, uh, but the headphone uh, jack or the sound out of the headphones is much better than the iPhone is on this. Okay, let's boot it up. And I'll give you a quick tour uh, of what the boot up screen looks like. A little bit of the lollipop, uh, not lollipop, um, my apologies, uh, nougat, it looks like. Um, I have got my own setup running on this guy, so if you guys don't like it, you know, please don't comment. You Android is what it is. We all like to set it up how we want. Um, and this is an unboxing, not a review. When I do the review, I'll set up the launcher for Sense and we will go over it that way. But what you'll see here now is going to be a Nova launcher and my own setup, what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so let's ease up on the hate for the setup of my phone, because that's how I like it. If you don't like it, that's too bad. And let's just pull away here. All right, so I'm using Nova launcher. Uh, it's a very stockish kind of setup. It looks, you know, pretty slick. You've got the QHD display, looks mint, okay? And you can see here, you know, colors pop, whites look good, blacks look sharp. You know, I've got, if you look down here, you've got the Nougat drop down. Looks really nice. You've got dual uh, pages for all of your uh, shortcuts and, and whatnot. Now I've got night mode on, so if you see a screen looking a bit yellow, you know, you can turn that off. Just for today, we can tone that down so you can see it. There we go. All right, so if you go into settings, okay, this is all Nougat. Uh, let me turn off my, get into airplane mode before all the notifications start coming in because it hasn't been turned on in a while. So about phone, um, software information. Okay, and there you go. Okay, so Android 7.0 uh, and it's got the December 1st security patch. Okay, uh, HTC has been really good with updates security patches and um, the regular firmware updates from Marshmallow to Nougat. They were one of the first out, unlike Samsung. <clears throat> anyway, so I love the touch capacitive buttons down below. I like how they light up and go away. The fingerprint scanner works great. Uh, my only gripe so far is the battery is not as good as uh, the bigger phones, but I guess it's a smaller battery, so it's to be expected. But other than that, I will go over the features of the software in the review, um, but definitely a, a must-get phone if you guys are looking for something in hand with a 5.2-inch QHD display, you know, all the bells and whistles, really wicked build. So, you know, something to keep an eye out. I mean, 5.5-inch, 5 5.2 is not a big difference, and watching YouTube and whatnot on here is great. Okay, so uh, just something to consider uh, if you are in the market for something like that. Okay, so this has been an unboxing and I guess first impressions now of the HTC 10 in black carbon. And um, yeah, if you guys have anything you want to see, any comparisons you want to see with this phone, please let me know. I'll be happy to do those. Uh, if you have any comments regarding the video, if you didn't like something, please do leave your comment down below. And I'll do my best to try and adjust or, or you know, respond to you. But this has been Im, and it's been another awesome video, getting back into the swing of things. Uh, and I'm out. Peace.